All right guys, uh, sorry about the wind noise. Normally I don't film outside. And also normally I do Fox body videos, but today we're doing something a little different. Uh, this is how to upgrade your Minute Mount 1 Fisher to LED headlights. Uh, I tried to research this before I did it. It is a simple thing to do. I just want to know ahead of time going into it. And I couldn't find anything, so I figured I'd make a video on it. <clears throat> so as you can see behind me, we have my 2006 F-150. Uh, I just use this for my personal driveway with the Fisher Minute Mount 1. Okay, so as you can see, this originally came with Sylvania halogen sealed beam headlights, and the halogens just weren't cutting for me. This is a 4x6 headlight, and this is LED. So I was told that these were HE4 plugs on the back, and they're not. Um, they're a little bit sideways. So I ordered these. These were like 35 bucks off Amazon. It's a T, or an upside down T for a low beam, and then when you turn on the high beams, it's the full brick. Um, so I'm going to take this apart and just show you guys how I installed it. Um, it's very simple. So to take it apart, it's just four screws, one in each corner. Um, obviously, be careful because this stuff is old if it's a minute mount one and it's brittle, and you're probably doing this in the middle of winter. Once the four screws are removed, it just comes, pulls right off. And then you have this. I don't know if this is the original wiring to the harness. Um, I don't know if somebody else has messed with this. But you have four. This one has a broken one. Tabs to remove your bulb. You loosen these, your bulb comes out. And then you have here is your plug. Um, so this is not an H4 plug as far as I know. So these came, the LED headlights order that were 35 bucks off Amazon came with this plug. So all I did was just deep pin it, which is very simple. You just take a pick, push the tabs in. Um, and I, I'm ordering the correct set of these, but temporarily, I just put a little electrical tape on these so these don't touch. Um, it's only 12 volts. If anything, you'll blow a fuse or a relay, most likely. Um, and then it's pretty simple. Normally your black is ground, so black to black. And then you just need to figure out which um, one powers your low beams and one powers your high beams. So I determined that the blue wire, which in the middle is your low beams, and then the white wire with the yellow tracer here is your high beams. So I just put these in temporarily until um, the plugs come in, and then I'll repin the other plugs to this. So it'll just be plug and play. Although this fades right now, just go right in like that. Pretty simple. And then you just put your four screws back in. It's very easy to upgrade these. And I believe, like I said, these are four by six. You could do projector headlights. You could do the LED bricks. Um, like I said, I only plow my personal driveway, so I don't mind the bricks. That I'm not driving down the street with this, blinding people. Um, and then you just put your four screws back in. It's that simple. And then in the middle of the process, what you could do is test, make sure you have your lights right, right side up, and then you could test with just turn on your headlights to see if the lower T comes on and the brights are connected to the correct one and the high beams are connected to the correct one. And that way your high beams will switch on when they get power, and that's it. Alright guys, that's going to wrap this video up. Very simple to switch over your halogen LEDs on a Minute Mount 1 Fisher Plow. Um, they should all be similar or the same and what you can also do instead of just using plugs You could really cut and splice wires and use buck connectors or a the heat shrink soldering tubes Which I use a lot and just wire them right in I just did that in case one of these ever had an issue I'll put a halogen in the truck although I'm not going anywhere so it doesn't matter But if I ever had to switch them back over to halogens, I could um, if anything happened so like comment subscribe uh, if you guys whatever and I post a lot of board content, and hopefully we get some more plowing content and other stuff, um, and then box body stuff, so thank you for watching.